Good morning, Warriors! Back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. Hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to do one before I actually started uh, teaching this morning on the Saturday morning. Hope you guys are doing wonderful. Hope you guys are conquesting everything around you and making yourself a masculine male the way we should be and continuing to move on through our journey of retention and betterment of each other and ourselves. So thank you guys for all the shout outs. I, I got to catch up a little bit as well. I do apologize out there to Hamza. Uh, it's Redfield. I, I, I maybe pronounced it the wrong way. So if I did, I apologize, Warrior. I want to make sure we get our names right. And sometimes I go through fast and I don't get a chance to do that. So I apologize there. Uh, Cervedo, thank you for the cowbell one. I'm gonna, I should have cowbells out here, and Junior's talking about that. I'm kind of holding back. I am holding back, Junior. You're right about that. I'm holding back, but I don't want to get up too many people upset, or especially early in the morning here. So, you guys, I'm gonna try to keep it as much as possible down a tone, but it's hard for me because I'm very excited about this stuff. I'm always excited about trying to keep on the battle, and we continue battling day after day, day after day. All right, some shout outs here, real fast. Before we get into our topic, we're going to talk about Aura a little bit and seam retention. Brian Alonzo had a nice comment there, and we're going to talk about that. All right. We got John Williams. Thank you. King Uche, Ben W, uh, Indigo. Thank you. Joachim Nielsen, A Days. Women are confused. There is no doubt. We talked about that one a little bit, Joaquin. I appreciate that comment and shout out. Uh, it just continues to amaze me how uh, women react. They will just react to you no matter what. I don't care who the woman is. I don't care if they're married or not. I don't care if they got girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever they have. They're going to react to you because of that tremendous energy. You are a man of purpose. And they don't find many men of purpose out there. It's very hard to find those men. And so when they talk about they can't find a real man, what they're mainly talking about is a man who has purpose, who someone who's not just going to go kowtow down to whatever they want, be desperate, some kind of thirsty male warrior out there, somebody who is not on their game and purpose to be able to get things done. I'm not talking about game as far as women go. I'm talking about game as far as life goes and getting things organized. All right. Red pill on steroids. Thank you, RPOS. I appreciate comments. Chris, thank you. Israel, world star. Uh, Hulsa, seven reborn. Thank you. Thomas Van Der Smurm, thank you, Smarm. Justin Green, E Trillionaire, Willem, and BT, thank you guys for all your comments. At about two minutes and 50 seconds here, let's talk about Brian Alonzo's comment. Another shout out to you, my friend. Aura and scene retention. I did a little bit of connection with this as well, and so I'm going to kind of kind of give you my thoughts on this, and you guys certainly can kind of respond and give uh, thoughts yourself on this. But if you go back to the key idea we're talking about here, and the idea that you have to kind of get your mind around, Warriors, is the fact that we live in a two, three-tier world. It's like the Holy Ghost, uh, the Father, Holy Ghost, and the Son, all those things. We live in like a trilogy of energy. We're talking about, obviously, the life force you have. What is that life force? Something inside of you is moving you. It's almost like the fact that a car can be sitting there, but unless you turn the key on and some kind of combustible connection happens, which has been always hard for people to explain, that car is not going to go anywhere. The same thing happens with you as a person. Unless you can kind of think about the fact that you have a physical nature there, but you also have something that's inside of you that's moving you, that's doing these things, that's creating all this energy and power and masculinity, you're not going to really kind of understand or really harness that tremendous power you have. This is why when we talk about this, we're talking about the spirit and the flesh. And I always kind of separate those out. And when we talk about Kelder's Fountain of Youth, there's a couple good researches in there. And I think it was uh, Curlingen. Uh, that actually did a study showing that what a person looks like from an energy source. If you look at a person, you'll see those chakras come out. And you can tell when they do photography back in the old days of the energy sources within that body. And if you continue to get those moving and fast, 
you'll get a person who will continue to be in uh, energy and, and flowing with nature as long as they can. And so you can have people theoretically live a long time because they're flowing within that nature and that energy, their chakras are moving. So when it comes to aura, that is an energy force that comes out of you. People see that. Now, when you retain, you're keeping that energy inside of you. You're not dispuse, uh, dispersing it as often as you did. You're not dispersing it four or five times a day with pictures or with a person. You're holding it in. And as a result of that, your emotional stress also is not as great. And so you're not dispersing that either. And so now you have this ball of energy that's becoming stronger and stronger as the days go on and more powerful and other people notice it. Now they may not be able to identify this. Women certainly, men can't, I mean, certainly identify what it is. People cannot identify. And when women's attractions are on the radar subconsciously, they cannot avoid you because you're such a powerful force that they're drawn to you because they want to feel that. Again, other people feel good around you. People will stare at you. People will just like a deer in the headlights. They want to touch you. They want to be around you because they feel that energy. They don't care about anything else because the feeling they get by being with you is unbelievable. And a, and a lot of research have shown uh, warriors that females, female warriors, it's how they feel when they're with you that makes all the difference in the world. If they feel good about themselves, if they feel like they're strong, if they feel like that they're beautiful, if they feel like that, that there's attention to them, all those things make a difference in how they feel and who they're with. They want to be with you because they feel that energy, that aura. They see the aura. Now, they may not be able to identify what they're seeing, but they see the aura. Now, again, we go back to Charles made a comment about this could be they see God in you. And I think, I, I, I think that's very possible. I've always have. I think they see God is shining more with you. I think as time goes on, and I'm at 1,060 some days, as time goes on, I think uh, people see more of God in you because God, you're you're recognizing God more as well. But this aura is like a shining light, and it attracts people because people find you know, like a ball of light. You're interested in what this ball is. You're interested in how that ball is going to affect you. And of course, you can't avoid it. There's something hypnotic about that aura. And so as we talk about this, and once again, it's a good topic Brian always brings up here. And I, I don't, I'm still learning the ins and outs a lot about aura because I do think it's a very powerful force. But I think it's always about this energy field that's around you. And if, if a person feels that you are got a, an attractive like a magnet type of force, they're going to do anything to get around you and be with you. And that's what we see happening. I see this happen on a daily basis. And it doesn't really matter who the person is. They feel attracted to you because you're able to hold your seed, to build your energy, to build your aura as time goes on. And I think you can build your aura. I think it becomes stronger and stronger each time you, you retain each day, you become stronger and stronger. Now, even if you relapse, which people do, and even in my case where there's times where I would go off a of monk mode because it's just very difficult for me to still, I'm still learning how to do that long, longer term as I do, the aura is still with you. And you have to continue to go back to the habits to make that aura strong. So obviously all the things we're talking about are very important when it comes to keeping your, your aura and your energy. And I think this is why we talk about this as being very important. Because people feel it. They sense it. They may not be able to tell you what. They may see, well, it's chemistry, or I like this person, or the person just 
looks like a nice person, they look attractive, but really what they're looking at is the energy. Because in the long run, my friends, the spirit and the, 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 the flesh, they can work together. If you have a strong spirit, it will show itself out as an aura within your body. If you have a poor spirit, that will also show out. And so that's why certain people don't attract anybody. In fact, they repel people. Other people, they got so many people that don't do it. I had 30 people in my room, wasn't even in a class. They come over just to say hi and talk, and 80% of them were women. And again, they're doing this because subconsciously they feel that attraction. And I was helping a couple of students out, and all of a sudden all these people come in. Because they sense it. They can't explain it. And if you press them on it, they probably won't even know what you're talking about. But they know they feel something strong about you because you have that unbelievable masculine frame. And that comes from the retention that comes from doing the things to keep yourself active, you know, working out the right kind of foods. In my case, I like the cold showers. All these things help you build that energy. All right, well, Brian, thank you again for the topic. And as I do more and more research on this, we'll come back to this topic of how to build the aura and all the things that you're doing and how you recognize it. But for the time being, I appreciate your comments. And I hope that uh, you guys continue to look at building your aura and building that energy so that you're attracting more and more people. Not only for the case of women and those people who want to have that one person in their life, they can find that person that way. I'm talking more in the case of um, opportunities. I've had several opportunities over the last couple of weeks, and a lot of that to me I would never have had back in the old days. And that's only because I believe that, once again, people want to be around you. And that also means that they will work with you and help you make money and keep you around no matter what they got to do. And that means you can make in successful operations when it comes to money, business, things like that. All right, my friends. So until next time, you guys have a nice day today. I'll see if I can do one tomorrow. And if I don't, I hope you guys have a nice weekend. Always remember two things. First of all, every day is a great day and a new day to a great warrior. And number two, guys, you need to continue to battle.